now we're going to go over how to download maps for offline use uh, in Google Maps on Android. So the reasons you might want to download offline maps, um, there's actually a few of them. Um, one is to help you save data. So if you download kind of your home area or wherever you're planning on traveling or something like that, you can download those maps offline. And that way, if you're just traveling around your home area, you're not using as much data, data to um, navigate to certain places and things like that, especially if you have spotty cell service in your area this can really help you out because you won't drop a, even if you drop a cell phone connection or anything like that or you lose data those maps are still offline so your turn by turn navigation won't cut out or anything like that and it'll still work it just kind of won't show you traffic um, because it can't get that from the internet but it will work offline um, another reason to do it is if you're going to go travel somewhere, maybe you're traveling abroad and you want to save on that a little bit on that international data plan, you can download those maps ahead of time. That way when you're there, you can even use turn-by-turn -turn navigation and things like that, even when your phone is on airplane mode. It's important to note that if you're not going to have a data connection and you do download these maps offline, um, you can't really search up like where's the ne nearest CVS or something like that. Um, it is better to have exact addresses. Um, you can look up places um, just by the business name and stuff, but that may not always be up to date. Um, you're, so you might be able to find what you're looking for, you might not, but if you know specific places you're going, it's better to be safe and just have those addresses on hand and you can type those in and still use turn-by-turn -turn navigation. So that's a few reasons why you might want to go ahead and download maps um, for offline use. So to go ahead and download um, a map for offline use, you want to go ahead and open Google Maps, and you're going to go ahead and select the user icon in the top right here. Once you tap on that, you get a bunch of different options here, but we're going to select the offline maps option. Once you're in here, you can see I already have some maps downloaded, and you can see they have an expiration date. Um, the expiration date is a year from when the last version of that map was downloaded, and we'll get into how you update maps and things like that in a little bit. But we're going to go ahead and select our own map, and we're going to do it like we're traveling abroad. So as you can see, you can pinch and zoom. Um, with your two fingers and let's say we're traveling to New Zealand and you can go ahead and zoom in on the area you want to download and so a few things to note is what if I'm traveling through this whole southern half of the island um, as you can see I can't really cover that with one offline map um, this square the area allows you to download will only get so big because it can only hold up so much space in one offline map but what you can do is download multiple maps and kind of overlap them so it looks like we'll need about three in order to get this whole area so that's pretty easy to do so we'll do this first area here and so whenever you found the area you'll just go ahead and click download um, it will down here tell you approximately about what how much space it'll take up on your phone but we'll get a more exact measurement on that when it's actually fully downloaded. So we'll click download. And you can see it's downloading here. And if you click the three dots here, you'll get more options. You can view um, what you've downloaded and everything. You can rename it or you can delete it. So if you want to rename it, you can rename it. And we'll rename it to New Zealand. And we'll just click save. And if you hit those three dots and you click on view, it just shows you the area it's downloading. And again, you can edit the name at the top if you really want to. So we'll go ahead and go back. Now we're going to select another map, right? And now we're going to go ahead and do this kind of next section here. And we'll click download. And I don't re need to re really rename it, but you can if you want to. And now we'll click download on that. So now it's just going to download all of that stuff in the background. And while it does that, we'll go over some other information on this screen here. 
Um, another thing you might see pop up here is if you do have a trip planned, like say you booked a flight to Philadelphia or something, and you get uh, an email about that trip, your flight information and everything in Gmail. Um, if you have <clears throat> these permissions for Google allowed to look at that information turned on, um, you could get a suggestion that says, hey, download um, the area of Philly offline. Um, because it knows you're going to be traveling there soon. So you can also use the suggested ones, suggested ones, or just go ahead and make your own. Um, another thing to note in this um, kind of main page here is if you tap on the settings icon in the top right, you'll see you get a couple different options here. So the first one is automatically update offline maps. Um, so basically what this does is say if you've saved your home area and a new CVS pops up around the corner after you've downloaded these maps. Um, once that CVS is added to Google Maps, Google will see, hey, there's a new store here. It'll download a new version, a new updated version of those maps that you've already had. And now when you search um, offline, you'll be able to find that new CVS because it'll be updated in that new map. So again, you can search for that stuff. Um, hopefully it did automatically update, um, but it's just kind of nice to have that um, turned on. Um, and you have like automatically download offline maps. Um, you can have that turned on if you want. Um, that'll kind of automatically like download your home area. If you have your home address in and stuff, it'll just kind of do it for you without you having to go in and say, hey, download this area for me so that's up to you if you want it to kind of try to automatically do it um, I wouldn't count on that I would still go in and check and make sure it has the area you actually want um, and then you have download preferences which is do you want to just download these maps or update these offline maps on Wi-Fi only or do you want to use Wi-Fi in your mobile network um, I would just use Wi-Fi only they download and update pretty quick um, and that way it'll save you data and then you can click on about maps offline if you want to go ahead and get more information. And whenever these expiration dates are kind of coming up, you should get a notification that says, hey, do you want to like redownload these maps or let them expire? It's totally up to you. And you can always come in and click on the three dots on any one of these and hit delete yourself if you want or update it manually if you want to. Um, again, turn-by-turn -turn navigation will work even if you're in airplane mode, um, as long as you're in the area of one of these downloaded offline maps. Um, so that's important to remember. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much how you download um, maps for offline use and how you can use them and why you might want to. Um, again, it saves you data, or if you're going abroad and you want to download a specific area, It'll help you navigate around that area without you having to use data. So that's how you download offline maps through Google Maps on Android. Hopefully that helps.